Hello, welcome to this new tutorial and which I'm going to talk about um, more about VGP modes, right? And we already talked about VGP server, client, and transparent mode, which are all in the CCNA. The off one is now on the CCNA, so uh, I might talk about it on, a next, on the next video. So the VGP um, mode, server mode, you can and create, modify, and delete any VLANs. On the client, um, you cannot create, change, or delete any VLANs, right? But it can forward. Um, it can forward VLANs that receives from the server to another VTP that can authenticate if it has a pa the same password and in the same domain, right? Also, um, trans transparent mode does not receive or does not save any VLAN configuration from the server or from the client um, but what transparent does is forwards the information that it receives from a VTP if they have the same configuration and if they have the same password for the VTP domain right so what I'm going to show you is how a VTP transparent mode um, sends over a information but does not keep the VLAN information I'm going to show right now we have this VTP, uh, this VTP configure right here, a VTP server mode right here. So let's go and I'm going to show you that it is configured. So let's do a show uh, VTP status. Um, six, we have nine VLANs. Revision number is four. So the next one is going to be number five. Um, what is it? Uh, here, here it is. VTP operating on the server and let's show the VLANs show VLAN brief here we go 20 10 20 30 and 40 okay let's go to the client so you can see that it is running on the client let's go in and let's show VLAN brief here it is 10 20 30 and 40 let's go show VTP status here it is, it is working as a client. Revision, configuration revision is number four. And we have uh, nine VLANs. Now let's go to the transparent mode and let's end it. Show VLAN status or show VLAN brief, I'm sorry. Here, here it is, we don't have any VLANs because it does not and save the VLAN that it receives from the uh, VTP uh, VTP client, right? Because the server sends it to the client and the client forwards it to a transparent mode and it authenticates. But this one does not save it, but it can forward to a new router, right? As we can see right here, it does not participate in VTP, but it can forward to another, uh, not router, but to another switch. And we are going to show you right now. Show VTP status. As you can see, that is um, configured as a transparent mode. So what we're going to do is we're going to introduce a new switch and we're going to make it a client. So you can see that the transparent mode does not save it, but it, it doesn't save it, but it does send it over to another one, right? Um, number four, let's go and configure this bad boy. Here it is. Enable config T. Host, host name is going to be switch four. VTP mode is going to be a client. And then we're going to be VTP, the domain that is on in Cisco. And we also configure a password. Four, five, six. Here it is. Now we are going to interface slash ethernet zero slash five we're gonna make it a switchboard mode trunk we're gonna make it a trunk because we are going to send over um, different VLANs and we need a trunk for that and that's how also VTP works even if it's only VLAN we still have to make a trunk link so it can send over the VTP information or the VLAN information over so here it is and we made it, it was, uh, it was um, first Ethernet, 0 slash 5. 
So let's go ahead and put a crossover cable, of course. Five and five. And let's wait for it until it syncs. I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video. Here it is. Now they are both um they are trunking. So now let's go ahead and see what we have to see if the uh, bit speed transparent um switch send it over all the information show VLAN brief and here it is as you can see the this switch which is configured as a um, transparent mode it is sending over but sorry for that but it is not keeping or saving the VLAN that is getting you see and there it is and that was it for this video tutorial thank you guys for watching and i'll see you on the next one